Well, indeed we have. I was talking just now about the rutting impalas and how they were making such a noise. And we've managed to find this female and this male. And this male is doing his best job to try and keep the female close by. You can see he keeps sort of cutting her off. And as she tries to move, he'll chase after her and make these incredible sounds as he tries to block her and keep her segmented so that he can then mate with her. It is really quite amazing to watch the two of them. And he's been very feisty. He keeps going around calling. He shows his white tail, presents the side of his body and tries to really impress the female with his size and keep her at bay. There's a number of other males that I can hear calling around us and that's probably why he's like that. So you see, every time she moves, he turns and he drops his head and turns his body sideways to try and block her and keep her from going away towards any of the other males. Now, if she makes a sort of run for it, can you hear that? So that's the grunting sound that he's making and he's telling her that I'm the territorial male. You don't need to go any further than that what you're looking for is right here with me. So it is amazing to watch these males and how much energy goes into this process for them to be able to mate with these females. It really is quite an incredible thing to watch. Now I'm pretty sure if he just keeps this up and is patient enough, I'm sure she's going to give in and he'll eventually be able to mate with her. Now that she's been separated from the herd, he'll definitely have a good chance of being able to mate with her. But it's so nice just to sit on these beautiful mornings and listen to these impalas all around you during the rutting season. The rutting season is one of my favorite times in the bush. It is amazing just to listen to the impalas and hear these sounds bellowing through the morning air. It really is quite incredible. Now, these two are actually quite relaxed. So I want to see if we can't get a little bit closer for you. Ah, so Cora, you're wondering how I can tell which is a male and a female. Well, if we have a look at these two, so the female is just moving off slightly to the left there, and the male is closest to us. And you can see the male's got a set of horns that is protruding from his head. And is that one that is making all that noise, whereas the female has got no horns. So that's the easiest way. And you can hear the males responding. Amazing. So, a bombo girl, you're wondering how long this rut is going to last for. Well, the rut will last probably about just over a month. That's normally how long it lasts for. Sometimes we see a little bit of rutting behavior, even stretching in towards June, but mostly April, May, that is the sort of peak period of the rut. We sort of start to see it coming up in the early parts of April, and then by sort of the beginning of June, it's starting to taper off a little bit, and by the time we get into July, it's gone completely. It's a very short sort of mating season because ultimately they want to try and have um, the time for that young baby to develop inside its mother and so that it's born in time with the summer rain so that these little babies get lots and lots of food from the mom being able to find food and providing high nutritious milk. So let's carry on though. I think our male is still doing a good job at keeping this female at bay and 